Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this video we are going to learn about 22 shortcuts in 3ds Max that will boost our speed up to twice faster than before. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and watch the video to the end. Okay, so for better understanding I uh, opened one of my projects so I can explain on this for you. So our first shortcut is called Ctrl Z is for undoing actions on the scene for example if I move this sun from here to here and I realize that is uh, I do it wrong I want to go back one step um, I hold control and tap Z it will go back where it was before my action so um, control Z is for undoing our action on the scene now the next shortcut is called Ctrl Y. It's the opposite for Ctrl Z. It will redo what we have been undoing. Take a look. Ctrl Z, Ctrl Y. Ctrl Z for backwards. Ctrl Y for going forwards through the actions we have been doing on the scene. Ctrl C is for creating a camera from your viewport. All you have to do is to uh, choose your right angle and hold control and press C as you can see it created a physical camera for me from this view it's right here and I'll do it again from this view for example or I want to create a camera from this view hold control press C and it easily created a physical camera for me by pressing uh, by holding control and pressing C now next shortcut and it's so useful is called Ctrl A on the keyboard it will choose all the uh, objects and lights and cameras and everything you have on the scene uh, at once it will select them all for you for example if you want to move them or um, you want to rotate your scene entirely it will choose all of them for you by pressing Ctrl by holding control and pressing A. I'll do it again. Next shortcut is called Ctrl S and this is for saving your project. It's so useful and it's so important as well because uh, my hand does it automatically because I don't want to you, uh, lose uh, my project if a crash happened for the software. Uh, it's so useful. The next shortcut is so important and so obvious it's called alt and middle mouse button and you do it by holding alt and pressing on your middle mouse button to rotate the viewport it's so important and also so obvious next shortcut is so important i use it all the time and it's called alt and left mouse button it's for removing items from selection for example you select all of these items and you want to remove the sun from selection you hold alt and you select on the sun and as you can see sun is removed from uh, selection and I can move my other items next shortcut is called alt and X and this is will give you an x-ray vision through your project for example I choose this wall and this one I hold alt and press X it will give you as you can see in the picture um, it will give you an x-ray vision while you can see uh, inside your project and if you want to go back to the normal mode hold alt and press X again and uh, it's all normal again uh, next one is called alt and Q it will isolate your um, item for example if you want to work more on this wall you press you hold alt and press Q it will isolate your um, object and you can as you can see the isolated item is on for me right here and after you finished you can pressing on this button and go back to the normal view Next shortcut is useful for making a copy out of an item in 3ds Max and 
there are two ways to do that one is to hold shift click on the uh, item that we want hold shift and drag the way that we want to be a copy from the object and select copy or instance or reference and the other way is to hold control and press V on the keyboard and it will create a copy as you can see we can make a copy and move it so in this shortcut I'm going to teach you how to get a render so fast and another shortcut is C by pressing C on the keyboard you will go to the camera view and um, if you want to take a render easily hold shift on your keyboard and press Q it will uh, take a render for you instead of this action actually you can um, press this button right here but I'm so lazy I will use the shift and Q for taking my render next shortcut is called M on the keyboard when you press M it opens the material editor and you can edit your materials on this tab and instead of clicking on the M on the keyboard you can press on this tool right here and we'll do the same for you next uh, shortcut is called P by pressing P on the keyboard and this is for releasing yourself from camera mode and as you can see we are right now in the camera mode um, we can't rotate the project but if we press P on the keyboard now as you can see we are released from camera view and we can turn um, our project next shortcut is so easy and so useful as well and this is called Z um, on the keyboard by pressing Z it will bring you in front of your project imagine uh, every time you lose your project in the viewport and you can't find it and you can easily press Z on the keyboard and it will bring your project in front of you next shortcut is so important and this is A and S on the keyboard for turning on your uh, snap toggle and angle snap toggle it is so important that I always put my middle fingers on A and S and I turn them on and off all the time by pressing on the keyboard you barely see me um, turning them on by clicking on them with mouse and instead of mouse I use A and S on the keyboard for turning uh, turning them on and off it's so useful um, next shortcut um, are actually three keys on the keyboard and by pressing T we go to top view pressing F we can see the project from front view and left is uh, for left view and instead of using this um, white cube right here we can uh, press on the keyboard and I think it's more uh, useful and faster W, E and R uh, are three keys uh, and shortcuts for moving items, rotating items and changing the scale of the items but we have it right here on the keyboard for example this item I want to move it I press W and I can move it and if I want to change the selection mode to the rotation I press E on the keyboard and it becomes um, rotation mode and uh, again if I want to change the scale of the selection item I press R as you can see I can change them from here and, but uh, I prefer to use the keyboard all the time uh, I press R and it becomes scale mode and I can change the scale by pressing W go goes back to moving uh, mode next ones are numbers number seven is a shortcut for showing you the details about your project uh, such as numbers of polygons and vertex uh, in your project and number eight is for opening the environment and effects tab uh, where you can change um, its setting 
from this tab by pressing on 8 and you can instead of pressing on 8 on uh, you can go to the rendering tab and select on the environment but 8 is more reachable and you can press on 8 F3 is for going to the wireframe mode and F4 is a shortcut for edge faces where you can see the edges of the objects and everything you have on the scene F3 for wireframe mode and F4 for enabling the edge faces mode one of the most important shortcuts in 3ds max is shift plus g um, you can sh uh, hold shift and press g on the keyboard and it will hide all of your objects uh, in the scene and you can have a better handling for example cameras lights and sp lines in the scene and it's so useful i use it almost all the time hold shift and press g again it will bring back all of your objects it's so useful this shortcut is more useful when you are in the camera mode you hold shift and press f now you can see the actual frame of your final render that you had chosen in this um, tab you can change it right here you can change the uh, image aspect from right here and if you press in if you hold shift and press F you can activate um, the viewport and you can see it from your viewport okay next and final shortcut is called space and by hitting space on your keyboard uh, it will give you let's hit it here it will give you some options that you can use for example you can search throughout your project and in 3ds max uh, next one is for playing your animation if you have created an animation in your project by pressing on animation for maximizing uh, viewport when you are in this viewport and you uh, select each view that you want and press space maximize your viewport or you can disable your viewport or um, lock an object I barely use this but uh, there it is and that's it alright guys thanks for watching the video I hope you like it if you did leave a like on this video and until another video and another tutorial take care and goodbye